Hello everybody, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the Jolaboka Flood PDX book tag. Uh, this was created, I think, by Scally Dandling about books. I was tagged to do this by Charles Heathcote, presumably just because he wanted to watch me struggle. There are a bunch of questions, I'm going to go through and ask the questions, give them some answers, and then I'm going to tag some people at the end. So, question one, the name, what is an unpronounceable or difficult to pronounce word you love? Okay, um... Dirigible, maybe? What is it? I've been watching PewDiePie. He struggles to say lots of English words, to be honest. I'm No, I'm sticking with dirigible. That was the one that came to mind. And that's a great word. Question number two, the tradition. What is a new to you tradition or retelling of one that you love? So I guess it would be the, the, the Northern Lights uh, trilogy, the His Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman, because that's a retelling of... Um, Paradise Lost by John Milton, which itself is like a retelling of the Bible story of the fall of man and uh, the snake and the apple and all that stuff. So I guess that, uh, in terms of new traditions, vinyl nights, uh, where Susie comes over, we put a vinyl on, I sit there getting some work done, she does some reading. Question number three, the adaptation. What is an adaptation of something you love that was made even better or equal? What? Um, okay, right, okay even better. I, probably The Princess Bride. I mean, well, I, I like the movie and then there's the... So, I don't know if that counts. So, I mean, I do quite like the Discworld movies that were made. The, like, I don't know if it was the BBC doing them. In one of them, Pratchett himself made a cameo as a toy maker, so they did like The Hogfather and stuff. It definitely wasn't better, but I think they did a good job with, uh, with the Discworld. Question number four, The Mood. What is the coolest book you've read or expect to read this winter? Well, the coolest. I have nothing particularly cold, but I guess this is quite cool. This is Irvin Welsh, A Decent Ride. And it's cool because Irvin Welsh is a heroin addict and heroin is cool. Drugs are cool, kids. They're not, they're not really. Uh, question number five, The Discovery. Who is a new author you've discovered this year that you love? Albert Camus. Uh, I think I had read a bit of him previously, but this year I read The Outsider and I recently read The Myth of Sisyphus as well. Um, they're not necessarily like super pleasant reading experiences, but they do make you think and uh, I like thinking. So yeah, Albert Camus. Question number six, I think. The setting. What is the deepest, darkest setting you've read about? Deepest, darkest. I mean, deepest and darkest makes me think of there's got to be some, in fact there was, there was an Asimov uh, short story where it was set on, uh, it was set like on earth but beneath the water. There was basically a colony on Mars and then there was like a colony at the bottom of the ocean and it was like the politics between the two of them. So I guess that, the, the one at the bottom of the ocean or like, so, yeah, something that went, I don't know, that's the best I can think of for deep. Question number seven, The Hot Cocoa. What is a book that comforted you during a long night, literal or metaphorical? Uh, Dracula by Bram Stoker. Uh, I was in a relationship about eight years, nine years ago now. Uh, it was someone I met at uni and I went to stay at their parents' house and their parents were very conservative. So I had to sleep in the living room and it was like an open plan house. So you could see the entire house. Like there was like glass windows going into a dining room. Then again, glass going into a porch and then glass going out into the garden. And I was just down there by myself freaking out about every noise I heard in this weird house. So I stayed up all night reading Dracula. And question number eight, the gift. What is an indie book that you'll be giving this winter season? Charles Heathcote was kind enough to say meat. Uh, and I would probably have to say one of Charlie's books, uh, our Doris in particular, I think is what I'd give to people to get to know Charlie's stuff. Um, although, I mean, I guess technically, speaking of Charlie, I did send him The Sound of Revolution by Grey J. Wall. I, I, I popped that in the poster of a poetry collection. So, um, I mean, I guess that, although, yeah, no, that's an indie book. It's, almost, it's kind of a chat book, really, but that, that's, that's what I got for you. Charlie's book or that poetry collection. So there we have it, that's what I made of the Jolla Boca Flood PDX book tag. I'm going to tag some people now. I'm going to tag Mindy of Mindy's Book Journey. I'm going to tag... Uh, I'm going to tag Jason's Weird Reads, Todd the Librarian. Uh, I'm going to tag Mark from Richardson Reads. I am going to tag Kaz from Cats and Camera. I am going to tag Emma from Emma Rosen Books. 
And one more, I am going to tag, I'm going to tag Spooky Noodles, uh, Nicholas, I think his name is. So there you have it. That is my take on the Joel Abaka Flood PDX book tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers to this. Let me know if you've done this tag and I'll check it out. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.